I feel most proud about the long-standing impact we're going to have on the pursuit of justice around the world in terms of identifying bad actors, in terms of protecting those who need protection, and in terms of always seeking the truth. Harm reduction in AI is table stakes for this industry. You like it? I like it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Prior to coming to Relativity, I worked on these investigations, I worked on these cases, and I've seen the harm that can be caused by them. Um, sometimes it's unintentional. I, I'm sure I've been complicit in that harm myself. Um, sometimes it is intentional. You get a client who wants to hurt someone for whatever reason, and they want to use your technology to do it legally. And so when I came to Relativity, I wanted to do whatever I could to reduce the harm that technology could cause. And that was especially true with AI uh, because it's, it is so scary to get it wrong and to see the impact that it can have on other people. And a lot of people think of relativity as just an e-discovery tool, but it's so much more than that. And it's used by so many more organizations that have really critical missions such as um, used by different government agencies to determine um, the, the well-being and life of other people. It's used to investigate war crimes. It's used to track human trafficking and prosecute those cases. So if we get it wrong, somebody could literally die. And as technology makers, we of course don't want that to happen. Um, but we also just want to feel like we're making a difference and actually make a difference in the world. And the one way that we can do that in the scope of our careers is getting this right.